Welcome into the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, your chance to get some face time with your favorite Major League ball players. I'm Tim McMaster, and in the cage today, Matt Carpenter, Cardinals third baseman. So without further ado, let's head out to Los Angeles. Jeremy Brizel, along with Matt Carpenter. JB, take it away. Tim, thanks so much for queuing us up. Uh, I appreciate you doing the time in the studio, so get out here to gorgeous Chavez Ravine, hang out with Matt Carpenter a little bit. Uh, before we get to the questions from the fans and the Edward Jones chatting cage, Matt, I want to ask you, when you step into the batting cage for a session, you, are you swinging away? or What are you working on? Because uh, we're going to guess how the questions are going to work then going forward. Well, you know, I mean, every day you got a, a plan and a routine uh, that you go through, and, um, you know, you, depending on the starting pitcher who you're facing, so... Uh, you know, I got a routine I like to stick with and, and go in there every day and, and kind of, um, you know, ride that out throughout a whole season. All right, we'll see how that routine gets broken up by the fans here. They're pretty good at throwing uh, slurves and knuckleballs throughout the course of a chatting cage session. We have a fan joining us right now. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Matt? Hey, I'm Tom. I'm from Omaha. How are you guys doing? Um, hey, Matt. I know that uh, some athletes don't like to talk, don't like to talk uh, stats. But are there any statistical benchmarks that you set for yourself at the beginning of a season? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I think everybody has uh, some goals that they want to they want to meet. Um, you know, I don't really put a number on it. Um, you know, as far as like saying, oh, I want to hit, you know, a certain average or a certain amount of home runs or doubles. I don't really do that, but. Um, you know, I have a I have a idea in my in my head of, of what I like to say is um, having a, having a, a quality um, game and just for me it's a more of a mental thing. Just being able to go up there every day and uh, you know give myself the best chance to succeed and and do that over the course of 162 games. So for me, it's just being able to show up every day and play the, play with that kind of mindset every day um, throughout a whole season. That, that's kind of my benchmark of, of what I want to try to do. Talking about the process of success from Matt Carpenter here in the Edward Jones Chat and Cage. And we'll go back to Twitter now. This is from uh, BabyCard33. Matt, who was your favorite player growing up and why? <laughs> Man, um, you know, I've, I've, I've answered this question before, and, and, and my go to uh, has been Lance Berkman. Uh, growing up in Houston, um, I was a big Astros fan, and, and he was uh, kind of the face of the franchise back then. And, um, and then I had the opportunity to play with him, so um, it's pretty it's pretty neat to uh, be able to play with a guy that you you grew up watching and, and kind of idolized. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, Matt Carpenter, and myself out here in Los Angeles. Tim, let's go back to you. What else is on tap here in the cage? Yeah, thanks a lot, JB. We also have some Facebook questions, and here's one for you, Matt. Dylan Might wants to know what would a return trip to the All Star Game mean to you? Oh wow. Uh, you know that would be great. Um, you know, last year, first All Star appearance um, in New York City was a was a real thrill for me, and uh, something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And then, obviously, if you get an opportunity to do it again, um, that's something that never gets old. And uh, you know, it's something I, I would be extremely honored and, and excited to to be there. It's uh, it's quite an accomplishment. Thanks a lot, Matt. We actually have another fan on the line here. Uh, you're watching the Edward Jones Chatting Cage, where. Waiting on the fan. They're getting ready to step into the cage, ask a question of Matt Carpenter, and here's the fan. If you can just tell us what your name is, where you're from, and then go ahead and ask your question for Matt. Uh, hi, I'm Jack from Phoenix, Arizona. And if you could design a uniform, what would it look like? <laughs> What's up, Jack? Uh, that's a good question, man. Um, man, uh, well, I'd have to say for me personally, uh, going to going uh, to college at TCU in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, the Horn Frogs. My favorite color has got to be purple. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what all it would look like, but I'd say that there'd be some purple in there. Um, and uh, man, that, that's a tough one. Um, I'm not. The, I don't have that very good at designing skills. So I'll just stick with a color and say that it did have some purple in there. My only follow-up on that would be then: Would you go retro or uh, like? Futuristic. I think retro is a good look. I would go retro for sure. All right, there we have a purple retro jersey, uh, uniform designed by Matt Carpenter. Looking forward to that. This is the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm JB. That's Matt Carpenter. I go to Twitter now. Uh, Yo Acquire wants to know who's the noisiest person in your clubhouse. The noisiest <laughs> person in the clubhouse. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with Jason Mott. 
Uh, he's quite a quite a personality. He's got a distinct uh, voice that can carry. Um, so he brings a he brings a lot of energy to the dugout and the clubhouse. So I'm gonna go with him. <laughs> Mott gets the tap as the noisiest in the clubhouse from Matt Carpenter. Folks, you want to join us here in the Edward Jones Chatting Cage? Fire up your webcam. Hit that red button, you know how it works. Be a part of the show, be a part of the conversation right here. Just like this fan right here. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your question for Matt? Hello, my name is Aiden Fogelwood from Stanford, Connecticut, and I was wondering whether you prefer playing offense or defense. That's a good question. Um, well, if uh, Jose Okendo was listening to me right now, he'd definitely want me to say defense, but... <laughs> Uh, and I'm an offensive guy. I, I love I love to hit. I love the the competition that goes in between the battle that that you have every night versus the pitcher. Um, so for me, I'd have to say offense. This is the Edward Jones chatting cage. I'm trying to keep up with Twitter, but Tim, you know, uh, I'm often too slow for that. Uh, what do you got back there in New York? Thanks, JB. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Facebook. And Matt, Karen Stazer wants to know what does the Cardinal way mean to you? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, th I think the best way that for me to describe what the Cardinal way is is it kind of embodies what what the, this organization thinks is um, the way you should play the game, and and it goes it goes beyond just the on the field. It goes it goes with off the field how you carry yourself. Um, you know, being a professional, and uh, you know, just really taking care of the little things. And you know, that's something we take a lot of pride on in St. Louis is, is attention to detail, doing all the little things right, and and uh, playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. And um, you know, that was something that was instilled uh, in me as, as as soon as I signed with the Cardinals and and, and was drafted by them. So, uh, you know, that's it's a it's a special tradition that's been carried on for a long time, and and and, and it's something that is, uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in. Something we try to understand thematically, too, with the sort of, we talked about stats and goals, but there's a process you're talking about there, and you said the little things for, for the Cardinal way. What is it for you that's had the, and obviously you've had some great breakout seasons here. What's, what's, what's a little thing that's had the biggest dividend for you? You know, I, I think it's just preparation um, before game and before season. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time um, both individually and as a team preparing for every night, every game's every night's game, um, you know, watching this video on starting pitching, going over scouting reports, doing all the things that, um, you know, that, that it takes to be successful. And I think that's been the biggest difference for me personally is, is finding that, finding what it takes and, 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 and watching guys that uh, have been competing here uh, in St. Louis before I got here and watching how they go about it and, and learning from them and, and uh, you know, finding your own way to, uh, to, to, to make it work. Amazing thoughts from Matt Carpenter here at the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. We go back to Twitter. Thanks for that, Matt. Let's uh, go to the mall is A. What's it like to both watch and play behind Adam Wainwright? You know, that's, it's, it's a real privilege. It's a real treat to... Uh, to, to be a, to be his teammate for one, um, and 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 to be on a, to be out on the same field with him as uh, when he's competing out there is is also a lot of fun too. I mean he's a great guy who cares a lot about what he's doing and obviously you know extremely talented, one of the best pitchers in in the game of baseball and um, you know just really a good guy to have around um, and it's just fun to play with. You know I can't say enough good things about him. We know every night he gets the ball, we got a good chance to win a game, and, and you know that's what you want to say about your ace and, and one of the leaders on your pitching staff and, and on your club. So it's, it's, a, real, it's a real privilege. Uh, it sounds like uh, you like watching him pitch just as much as the rest of us. It's a, a fun thing to do. Oh, yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Another fan steps into the cage. What's your name, where you're from? What's your question for Matt? I'm Hank from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm wondering, you've been to two postseasons before. What is the vibe going through the clubhouse during the postseason? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, there's there's no greater feeling. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's uh man, it's there's no greater feeling um, than playing in postseason. Uh, you know, it's it's just something that you can't. You can't really put it into words. You can't describe it to somebody who's never been there. Um, there's a lot of really good players and good teams every year that miss out on it. And, um, you know, it's just it's just a different game um, when the postseason comes here. Everything's riding from pitch to pitch. 
and uh, from from swing to swing, there's so much on the line. The crowd's into it; it's intense, and and it's just a lot of fun. Atmospheres are great. As far as mindset goes, um, you know, I, I know that in, in our clubhouse, when we're in the postseason, the mindset is 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 find a way to win, and um, you know that's something that that we've always we've always done a pretty good job of, and it's uh, you know whatever it takes to 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 win a game and and being being a team and, and, and staying unified and trying to and trying to compete together and and just uh, you know having fun out there it's, it's a blast the postseason is a great experience and hopefully uh, you know I can we can get another opportunity at it uh, it's great to hear about the uh, postseason from a uh, man who's been there Matt Carpenter in the Edward Jones chatting cage Tim I hear you got more back there in New York yeah thanks a lot JB uh, Matt we got one more from Facebook for you Sam work would like to know when did you first start playing baseball and what inspired you to want to make it your career? Yeah, well, um, you know, baseball is something that I've been around and been doing since the time I can remember, since since I could walk. Um, I grew up in a baseball family. My dad was a high school, or still is a high school baseball coach in, in Texas. He, he was my high school coach. So as a kid, I grew up around his field and with his teams and, and you know, was always around, um, you know, hitting and fielding and doing things. Even before I was too, wasn't old enough to play on a competitive team, I was out there doing stuff. So as, as far back as I can remember, I've been playing the game and, and, and uh, you know, I, I wanted to make a career out of it, um, you know, as a kid. I mean, obviously, every, every kid has that dream of playing in the big leagues, but I think it became a reality for me. Um, at the at the end of my college career, um, I thought that I might have an opportunity to play professional and 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 then uh, you know see if I could make it up to the major leagues and and thankfully you know I've been blessed and had the opportunity to do so so it's been a fun ride and um, just really enjoyed it. The Edward Jones chatting cage just about to wind down. I think we got time for one more fan. If we can get him into the cage, we can before we send Matt out. Uh, maybe Matt will think about what the second favorite play is while he works. Every prep for this one. The fan is here. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your question for Matt? Hey Matt, Jeremy Ward. Hey, I, um, you know, you're. I'm in your backyard, Bellbrook, Ohio. I know you grew up in Ohio, and my son, he, uh, big fan of yours. Actually, wears number thirteen. He, he calls you an old school player. He loves just the way you get after it every day. But as just a father, and, and for all the fathers, and knowing your dad played a huge role in your life, how do I keep my son interested in the game and always just having fun and enjoying it? Man, that that's a great question. I appreciate um, all the compliments and, and uh, fired up that your son is wearing my number. Um, but uh, you know that's a great question. And, you know I see it all the time, especially um, you know having been around the game and, and having my dad as a coach. That you know sometimes parents can can kind of burn out their kids. And I think that the biggest the biggest thing you can do is just is just be just be there to support them. And and whether uh, you know whether whether he's playing well or playing bad or, or whether you know whatever the situation is that you just give him your support and know that you care about him and whatever he, he whatever it is he wants to do I, I think that the best and most important thing my dad did for me um, as a dad and, and in the game of baseball was he never pushed it on me um, you know it was something I always wanted to do I loved it and I wanted to play it and it wasn't ever forced on me and and uh, you know I, that was something that as I got older I started to really appreciate because I've seen the other side of that so you know, if, like, like I said, I think you just you just give them your support, and 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 the rest will take care of itself. I don't think there's any better way or thought or question or answer to wrap up than with that one right there. I want to thank Matt Carpenter. You feel like you made good contact here in the cage today? Just oh yeah, this session? was good stuff. All right, glad uh, to be here. For Tim McMaster, I'm JB. I want to thank Matt Carpenter for being here. We'll see you next time on the next session of the Edward Jones Chatting Cage.